We begin in East Hamilton, where a recent home buyer says she'll soon have nowhere to live because the tenants who live in the home right now are refusing to leave. Jason Guidola joins us live tonight with the details. Jason. Yeah, that's right, Taz. This, this is a dilemma between the home seller, the home buyer, and the tenants living there. And I have spoken with all three today, and the tenants tell me that they could be homeless because there's uh, unaffordable rent across the city. The home buyer tells me that she could be facing rising financing costs of the property, and she may also have nowhere to live. And the home seller is confirming all of this, saying that steps have been taken to address this issue, but the process could be long. Actually, I lived in Burlington for the next 15 days, but after that, I'm really going to be homeless. A partially ripped sold sign stands on this East Hamilton property, but Lori McKibben says her more than $400,000 offer to purchase it can't be completed because the renters occupying the home also face potential homelessness if they leave. Lawyers informed us that the tenant is here still and he's not getting out and the landlord can't get him out. McKibben says she and her husband left and sold their previous home earlier this year and they had their offer accepted in April. Today, they're temporarily staying with family and face a rising financing costs the longer they wait. And so we up and sold and we did. We took a loss, but we were willing to accept that, making sure that we could buy something that we could be affordable. The original closing date on the home was scheduled for May 8th. However, it has now gone through two extensions now scheduled for September 15th. The tenants living at the property tell CHCH News they've been renters there for seven years and pay north of $1,300 today. They confirmed their intentions to stay because they cannot afford market value prices. The selling landlord responded to CHCH News today as well, saying the tenants have been renting with me on a month-to-month -month basis, and I gave them 60 days to vacate. The landlord says the tenants of the two-bedroom, one-bath home have also missed rent payments as well. My buyers have no place to go. The sellers um, are, have not been collecting rent in uh, approximately seven months. Um, he's done whatever he feels like he wants to do because in his mind, this is his property, uh, but it's not his property, of course. McKibben's real estate agent, Chris Medcalf, says applications to vacate have been filed with the landlord and tenant board. Now uh, these days, as uh, tenants become very knowledgeable on the situation, and since COVID, there's uh, a huge backup of these cases uh, going through the courts or the landlord and tenant board. And uh, a lot of these uh, tenants can just ride the system. The tenants confirm they've missed rent and say they are actively looking for an affordable alternative. McKibben says she's also helped them search for a new home. Now, we did request an actual interview with the tenants. However, they've declined to go on camera. We also reached out to the tenant and landlord uh, board about the applications, and they say that they are experiencing delays right now, and that they are expecting that hearings can be scheduled between seven and eight months upon submission. Taz.